everyone. My name is Sparsh. I'm Chitali. And I'm Ananya. My voice is really bad right now, so I apologize for that. So, um, our presentation is basically how our friendship inspires us to do the many great things that we want to do in the future. So, before we dive right into it, we actually made a short little mini video montage about our adventure together. So, enjoy. <laughs> Okay, um, as I said before, my name is Sparsh. I'm a senior at West Windsor Plains Rural High School North. So Chitali, Nanya, and I, we've been a trio ever since sixth grade. And that was back when I was pretty much set on art. That's what I wanted to pursue as my career. That's what I wanted to do in the future. Um, I love drawing, painting, sketching, everything. Like even photography, I loved everything about it. But one day, all of us went to Plainsboro National Night Out. This is an event where the emergency services department just comes together, and so all the firefighters, EMTs, police officers, everyone you can think of, everyone was there. And the atmosphere and the vibe that it gave off was something that I really loved. So I realized that this is something that I wanted to be a part of. So I joined my local first aid squad, and after tests and training, I finally started riding on the ambulance. Even though it was kind of scary at first, um, it's something that I've loved ever since. I love listening to patients' stories and just helping them through whatever problem they have. And um, this is what basically led me to realize that medicine is what I want to get into in the future. So I started researching um, about the cardiovascular system because it's something that I've always been interested about. And I specifically found Dr. Lee Kwan at UNC. Um, she actually addressed a really big problem, which is heart attacks. It's one of the most prevalent heart diseases. And what she's trying to do is she's trying to eliminate the scar tissue that builds up after a heart attack. She's trying to take the cells that have died off, which are called fibroblasts, and convert them into healthy cardiomyocytes. And the same study also found that when she reprogrammed these cells, there was a sharp increase in agarin. This is a protein that helps in the repair of the heart. And the same protein also inhibits the HIPPO pathway. And um, the HIPPO pathway is known for stem cell fate determination. So I thought to myself, is this connection, what could, is this what could lead to like, the solution of heart regeneration and future problems? And this is something that I definitely want to get into and research further like in college and just uh, down my medical career. And it's all because of my friends that I can do this. So, yeah. Okay, so hi guys, I'm Chitali. I'm a senior at West Windsor Plainsboro High School North. Um, you guys didn't really get to see the video, but the video basically summarized our friendship. And all I can say are these two girls are my best friends. Um, we've been through so much together, and uh, these stories and experiences have really shaped who I am today. But not only that, but they've inspired me and led me to a completely different field than I was planning on before. Um, so before I was planning to go into business and econ, and I was kind of set on that. But this past summer, me, Sparsh, and Anya actually went to Point Pleasant Beach, not a long drive from here. And we ate ice cream waffles, and we watched pretty sunsets. But not only did we do all these fun activities at the beach, we actually had a discussion and I realized that the beach wasn't as magical as everyone said it was. There were so many plants and animals that couldn't survive in such an unhealthy environment. So I realized I wanted to do anything in my potential power to um, solve this problem. And I did just that. I uh, began graph, I began analyzing data from years, hundreds of years uh, about regarding ocean temperatures as well as microplasticity in the ocean and I realized I wanted to use this information and all these analytical trends to create and produce my own graphs. So what I did was by making a linear regression model and by compiling various data points and compiling different graphs, I made my own models that statistically predicted the future and I could use these to share with the world 
um, my graphs and my information. These computerized models and decipher climate-related patterns, graphing them on 100-year scales. So by analyzing all these trends, I um, actually, then I wondered, how can I share this with the world? So right now, I've begun designing an open science workspace placed in several high foot traffic areas that will be interactive and informational. So my workspace will also have a global online platform presence. And my goal is to reach solutions and, and understand and comprehend problems at a deeper understanding by uniting with people from the other side of the world. So this idea should be a game changer and a catalyst for, how, for a global revela revelation that will change how we collect and analyze data for generations to come. So that one beach day kind of led me to thinking, and this is what I did about the problem. So now I'm going to a completely different field. So this just kind of shows how our friendship was actually a catalyst and completely changed my um, future, uh, uh, future career path. So it made me realize that beach days and uh, fun days don't always, aren't always pretty sunsets and uh, ice cream waffles and there's always a bigger problem to analyze if we zoom out of our little bubble. The waffles were really good though. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm Ananya. Um, throughout middle school and high school, Sparsh and Tatali were my best friends. They taught me invaluable lessons on how to dream, how to explore, and how to wonder. So one night when we were gazing at stars at Mercer County Lake on the dock like we usually do, I wondered, how can we travel to other planets? How can we live on those planets? And how can we reach those planets that look like small stars in the vast galaxy above us? So I began to conduct research, and I discovered that in order to reach planets such as Mars, we must overcome the propulsion limitations that we face today. My solution includes creating a swarm intelligence system where emotionally intelligent 3D, 3D printed robots and humans can communicate together to solve these problems. These robots will be connected to a spaceship propelled using ion drive. Ion drive is a form of electric propulsion that creates thrust by accelerating using ions and electricity. As for the robot, it will be humanoid in shape and will contain three distinct layers. The first layer will be graphene aerogel. Graphene aerogel is the world's lightest material and um, it also has a very low density. This, uh, these characteristics allow it to um, carry heavy weights and be very flexible. Um, it's also a very great heat conductor and it um, is very good for storing energy for longer periods of time, so this will be ideal for space travel. Um, additionally, my robot will have e-skin and um, other smart materials. My robot will have morphogenetic capabilities, allowing it to self-organize, self-assemble, and self-regenerate in any environment. The cellular and gen genetic mechanics will of this robot will be inspired from biological morphogenesis. This is just the beginning of exploration combining the cellular world with the lightest, strongest material in the world, which is graphene aerogel. Emergent technology is changing by day and can be used to look up into space to solve the issues that we face here today on Earth. I hope that one day I can develop these systems so Sparsh, Chitali, and I can embark on our next adventure together out in space.